it's it's hard to believe that we're sitting here about a year ago since we've launched the GoFundMe page um, when doctors uh, ran out of options for me here in Canada. We're sitting here a year later after I was literally dying um, and I just got the results last week and um, there's no cancer. So it's, it's really a miracle um, because a year ago they told me that I would only live for a couple of weeks. You know, from launching the GoFundMe campaign last year this time, we we're, it was less than 30 days before we left for Germany to have treatment. And in that time, Narda was really dying. She was very close to dying. Her body was going into the first phases of, of liver failure from the, the cancer on her liver. Last Friday, when I got the good news, I was driving back home and I was trying to put my feelings into words. And I, it was really hard for me to pinpoint. It was the strangest feeling. It, it, it is really like you're, you're being reborn because, you know, I went from not going to live to being alive and the closest uh, explanation I came up with was that I feel like the richest person in the world. As we talked about in the first video, I think there's no value that you can put on time. What is worth more than being alive and being with your family and seeing your kids grow up? It's nothing. Nothing's worth more than that. So just so thankful for how blessed we have been the way situations has turned out by how well everything came together from you know from launching the GoFundMe we had such amazing community around us thank you so much to each and every person every person who said a prayer even if you just said one prayer you are a part of my me being here and all our friends for supporting us, for crying with us, for loving us, for pushing us when we didn't have strength. And um, for each and every single person that, that donated money to the GoFundMe page, even if, if it was just $10, it helped us. And if we didn't have this from all the people around us, I would not be here today. So I'm extremely thankful to each and everybody that was a part of this. I really just want to say thank you for everybody that gave me support and helped me to be strong for my wife and my family. I would have not had the strength without everybody else's support. And so I'm so thankful. I think we can learn so many more things from this as a, as a community, as, as people, as humans together, that when we come together and we do things and we all feel these things and, and help people, we can make huge differences. Huge differences. I mean, literally everybody, you are the reason why my wife is alive right now. There's, you are the reasons. No, no matter how little that you think you did, you're all the reasons and it's all because of this collective thing together. So let's keep doing that and let's keep helping other people and let's keep doing that in general in life and working with each other.